What is going on guys, and today we're going to be looking at the Type 59. I know I said I was going to be a T49 video, like three videos ago. But, uh, this tank isn't going to be around forever, unlike the T49. Um, this, uh, this has probably been the most wanted tank since World of Tanks has been on console. Because this tank has been flying on its legendary ability to curb stomp every other tank at Tier 8 up until a point on PC and then it was nerfed and I still think this tank can be overpowered if used right you see I only got 31,000 and then you know I've played more games than that because you can see right there in that corner I have 45,000 free XP now when I bought this tank you see how they packaged them all up in the store um, you don't really know the prices until you start trying to buy things uh, in this game and then you start realizing that they they, they know they know what they're doing when they price these things, because no matter which way you go about it, you will spend fifty dollars. Why? I'll show you. So the Type Fifty Nine, if you just want that tank, is going to be seventy eight fifty. Oh, Grizzly, you don't got to spend fifty dollars for that. No, you don't. Three or sixty five hundred thirty plus twelve fifty is going to give you. Right at the shiny price of 7,750 gold. How much does the tank cost? 700 or 7,850. So you're gonna have to spend over $40. But then you're gonna be like, well, man, why am I gonna spend that when I can just buy 50? What did I just say? What did I just say? Not that I'm complaining because this is one of the cheaper tier 8 premium things and I totally agree with the fact that this is worth it. This tank is absolutely worth it. it should you get it? Yes, you should get it. But, I mean, honestly, you don't, you don't, sorry if you can hear things moving, you don't really have to spend $50 for it unless you want to. I did and I bought this one. See, they they have the probably the best pet deals with these tanks honestly like it is worth spending the fifty dollars on it I'm just making fun of how they packaged it because you have to spend fifty dollars to get it and they have three different versions of the tank all right so with the 7850 of course you just get the tank uh, type 59 loaded you get the medium tank or medium caliber tank gun rammer which makes the tank shoot faster uh, one garage slot a million silver and seven is a premium worth getting uh, if you spend 11500 you're going to get uh, the tank completely decked out with the best things you can get for it, which would be medium caliber tank gun rammer and vertical stabilizer and improved inhalation, which a gun lane drive would also work for this tank. Uh, 2 million silver and 7 days of premium. 2 million silver really helps, honestly. I like how they've done that. Now let's get into the actual tank. Stop making fun of Wargaming with the way they price things. Alright, so with this, uh, they have... Uh, I hit the wrong button, but we're going to go on the screen anyways. On the front of the tank, it's 100 millimeters, 80 on the sides, 45 on the rear. As you may know, you need to drive this tank in reverse all the time because uh, 45 millimeters is infinitely better than the 100 millimeters as on the front. I'm lying. Don't do that. If you do, I hope you die. I hope you get killed by whatever tank is shooting at you because you don't take me seriously half the time. All right, and on the turret, it's 200 on the front, 100 and 30 yeah 130 on the sides and 60 at the rear for some reason I thought it was 80 um, that does not mean you need to you don't need to test out how thick the turret on the back is anyways you do need to know that this tank is pretty much the tier 8 version of the Jap or not Japanese tier 8 or tier 9 uh, WZ120 and it's kinda like the less armored cousin of the T-54, which pretty much is exactly what this tank is, and uh, it's pretty pretty overpowered, honestly, if you use it the right way. If you derp around and drive straight out in front of people, you're going to get killed, and this tank has something that l literally no other Chinese tank has, that is 7 degrees of gun depression. And you will not know how helpful that is until you've played the one to one with its three degrees of gun depression. I mean, gun depression isn't everything, but it helps. 
this tank has uh, pretty good sized cupolas on the top. I mean, they're not easy to hit. Unless you're sitting still at point like range, then I mean, you deserve to get shot at them. But if you move this tank back and forth like I do in the replays and, uh, or not replays with the games, or I recorded, leave me alone, I'm trying right now. Um, and angle this tank, it is better than some of the heavy tanks at tier 8, honestly. And, uh, the gun, we're gonna get right into that, has shoots almost seven rounds a minute with the rammer, vents, and brothers in arms. You probably get it over seven. Well, I mean, I know you can get it over seven. Um, I don't remember exactly the reload. The penetration is 181, 241, and uh, 250 alpha. The reload time or the aiming time, excuse me, is 2.9, which is really long for a medium tank, and that's why you need gun lane drive vertical stabilizers. And the accuracy is 0.38. Yeah, it's pretty inaccurate, but when you play this tank like a heavy tank like I do, you really don't notice it. And it doesn't have, I guess, the best radio, which it doesn't matter, really. Uh, traverse is really good, and the view range is 380, which, I mean, I guess is decent, I guess. And either way you go about this tank, you will get a 100% crew, because it's a premium tank. And you can see I'm going for Brothers in Arms first. My second's going to be six cents. And uh, repairs. So, right now, what do I think of the, about this tank? It is good. It's very good. But not as overpowered as everybody plays it out to be. It is not overpowered to the point where it's better than any tank tree, the tech tree tank. I will gladly take the Pershing against this tank. But the problem is, is that the Pershing does not have the armor like this thing does. It has a better gun, yes, and better gun depression. But this tank has better hull armor and turret armor. Um, this tank is priced well, but I like to make fun of them for you having to spend 50 bucks. So you don't have to, but it's better off if you do because you get better deals out of it. Honestly, uh, and I think about this game... Uh, premium tanks don't need to cost that much, but I do like helping these guys out so they can make the game better, because they've been good to me, except for that one thing that happened with the giveaway, which I've completely given up on, I'm sorry about that, but I can't do anything about it now, we'll just have to forgive and forget, and we're gonna move on to the games that I've played, so yeah, see you then. Alright guys, so now here comes the first game, and probably the best game out of the two, well, definitely better the, out of the two, of, uh, hold on, stretching moment, alright, my bad, alright, so this becomes the best game out of the two, um, this one right here, I hold a corner off until I can get help, and even then, I still carry on and push them guys back that tried to rush me. And the 112 apparently has this uh, weird obsession with catching on fire, and I catch two people on fire this game. And I'm not entirely sure why the um, 112 has that problem, but this tank does too. And I don't remember really any other Chinese tank that I played other than the 110 that gets lit on fire on the front easily. The 121, from my experience, doesn't. The 120 doesn't. And... Uh, yeah, well, I, it's lower plate, and it's on, like, the right side if you're facing or the left side if you're driving it. So try to cover that up. This guy doesn't, and I catch him on fire twice and kill him. Anyways, the, um... I showed the, some of the gun depression off right there. This tank has, like... What am I trying to say? It's kind of like an identity crisis, like I said, because you play this tank like a heavy. And sorry if I was looking off somewhere and I wasn't really talking. I was trying to fix something on my Xbox anyways. Back to this. Um, I seriously thought that I was going to die when I got up here. Because when you're facing that many tanks, uh, they could have just rushed me and I would have died. Like There was nothing that I could have done about them rushing me. But for whatever reason, they just decide not to. Strategically placed bush got me. If that was a tank, I would have died.
I make a uh, two hundred forty-eight thousand dollars this game. I'm pretty sure, and it's only because the only reason I made two hundred forty-eight thousand was because of the uh, operation. But I would have made like a uh, hundred fifty thousand if I didn't have it. There goes the Achilles and uh, the people who wanted me to get the new FV four thousand and five. Uh, that's not gonna happen. That tank is absolutely terrible. I'll get the Cherry Tier in the Conway, but I do not want the Tier Ten. The Cherry Tier is infinitely better than the. Yeah, tier 8 is better than the tier 10. And that's saying something. Like that guy on fire on the first shot. And that right there is the only damaging hit that I take from the 110 or any other tank on the enemy team. And light him on fire again. Here comes SU-152. I thought I was going to get pinned. Nope, bounces right off my front. Shoot him. I could have shot him again. The 112 doesn't have the gun depression because he hit the hill too hard. SU-152, could have took that shot, probably wouldn't have done it, but there was always that chance, and I did not want the 112 to come around the corner. See, I have help, but they are way behind me, slowly working their way up the hill, and he hits my gun. And here comes the gas tank shot, doesn't light him on fire, but he's already about half health. Here he comes, he's going to rush me, because, uh... Might as well, right? And he sees the guys behind me, ignores me. Super Persian thinks he's going to shoot me. Doesn't. I shoot under him. He falls back. And now that my guys are pushing up, these guys know that they can't just rush me now. STA 1 bounces. And see, I keep wiggling. They keep trying to hit the Capolas and they don't. And uh, I tried to hit the drive wheel, but he kept backing up, and I didn't aim far enough back, and they hit his space armor. Now the 112 is up here with me. Miss. Here comes the fire shot. See, hits right there, lights him on fire, backs up, puts it out. Now here comes the next shot. Light him on fire again. Okay, pretty much ran through this team. Like, I don't complain that the whole other team or our team went the other way, but I still think that, that more people should have pushed this side, even though we won. And, uh, yeah, now there's a Type 59 that I'm going to rush. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that if the Super Persian and the Type 59, or not Type 59, but the 112 alone rushed me, I would have died fast. But if the SU-152, the Fury, the STA-2, and all, or STA-1, all came around the corner at one time, and didn't just come like they did, I would have died. Definitely, if the SU-152 and the 112 came around the corner, I would have fell back, and that would have caused the Super Persian to come around the other side and got me. But, you know, he didn't. And I kill him. And we keep going. I don't get anything else for the rest of the game. And you're going to see $240,000 pop up. Which I like the new operation things they've gave into the tanks. Like if you buy them from like specials, you'll get the uh, little um, operation for the tank. Where you got to earn a certain amount of XP. And then you get a money and some premium. Like one extra premium day or something. Which I really think that's cool. See, 248,000. 4,001 damage. 2,520 blocked. Still didn't get a mastery badge. I don't know what it is about this tank that I have to kill, like, the entire enemy team. Alright, so here's the next game on Northwest. And. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. I was had a lot of energy before I made this video. And it's only 9 in the morning. You're going to see three Type 59s push through an entire flank versus two for three Type 59s at FCM 50T. And I died this game, but 
uh, after that game just now, this is the second game, right after that game on Airfield, and I got this covert op where it gave me these little emblems, and it gave me one year of service, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, I've played this game since it came out, and even in the beta, and now you're only saying I play for one year, what? But it gave me seven days of premium, so this is the 11th, and tomorrow is the anniversary for World of Tanks for a lot of years, I guess, on console, and I can't remember completely how old World of Tanks is on console, but I will I will tell you if I figure it out. But I'm just saying that I don't know why I've, they think I've only played for a year. Like, my very first video is like over two years ago. Or something like that. I'll tell you right now, I got my phone pulled up. And a lot of people, I guess, um... What was it? I'm trying to find the video that I'm talking about. A lot of people apparently liked my uh, greatest accomplishment in life. I guess uh, that was two months ago. I didn't even know that. Sorry, I guess my it is only been a year since my first video on War of Tanks. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know that. I thought I had a game. It was two years ago. Well, anyways, I've been playing this game since it came out, even in the beta. Like I said. And, uh, kind of excited to see whether we're going to get tomorrow. I mean, probably going to be some, maybe it's not going to be some poopy medium or a little light tank. It's tier two. Hopefully they'll give us something cool. Two years. I mean, damn it, I've been around for a while. You can't just say I'll do this to any other game. Uh, 22, 23, 24, maybe. Hold on. 20... 23,000 games or something like that. Uh, this Type 59 could have shot the other Type 59, but he decides to shoot me. I don't know. Uh, and I thought the whole time that I was sitting right here, my Type 59 that was on my team decided, hey, I'm going to get in your way, and then I get shot, and I'm like, what? And the other Type 59 on my team went around him and then pushed him back. And uh, the T-44 is like a good comparison to this tank, but it just isn't the same, really. It's the closest comparison that I, I can think of, really. But this tank is better than the T-44, in my opinion. Armor-wise and gun-wise, because the gun is only 175 pin on the uh, T-44. Essentially almost the same gun, but it's not the same gun. It does the same amount of alpha damage. It's still 100 millimeter. And uh, the t 44 gets the ability to use a 122mm gun, which I've been told makes that tank fun. But I'm not going to buy it back just to play that. Here comes the FCM 50T. I thought that I, I in the post game, it says I am wrecked this guy, but the turret never flies off. I am wrecked with these Type 59s here in a minute. Send its turret flying up in the air, and then I play with his head to intimidate the other Type 59. They fall back and we push up. And I bounced off the gun, I believe, or something. Here comes the ammo rack. I sit there for a second because I didn't believe I did all that damage to him. I'm sitting there with quick. Alright, so I was like, I need to show dominance. Shoot him. Play with this dude's head. Look at me. I did this, and he shoots me in the gas tank, which causes me to get killed later in the game. And then he kills him. But, should you get this? Yeah, because I don't know if it's ever going to get released. Like I've been saying, yes, get this tank, get this tank, get this tank. But, I don't know how long. It, uh, it's going to be out to the 19th of February. I don't know if I've already said that but I know it's not going to be around forever, and I don't think it's going to be coming out anytime soon again uh, for at least another nine months, as they do a nine-month thing for most rare premium tanks like this, 
well, not like this one, but like the um, Panzer V-4 and the T-23 E3 or something like that. But I don't, I don't believe this tank's gonna come out for a while. It's gonna go over the nine month thing. The KV-5, stuff like that, has the nine month thing. I don't think this tank's gonna come out again after nine months. If it does, it'll surprise me, but I seriously doubt it will. And me and this other Type 59 are gonna move in behind them. Um, we end up with the same amount of people on our teams, uh, but for the most part, they could have won in easily if they weren't up here in the middle. One of our Type 59 stays back there, and he's the reason why we win. And I really hope that we get more people in Type 59s that want to platoon for whatever reason. When I want to platoon, nobody ever has this tank. And when I'm playing, like, you know, my AMX AC-48, I see five band platoons of Type 59s. And I'm like, man, I wish my, like, not my friends, but people who play this tank would want to platoon up. Every time I ask somebody, they're like, no, I like to play alone. Like, <laughs> I just sit there and cry to myself. I seriously thought that wood right there could be broken. And the Amarack on the Tiger P, he's not going to be able to do anything. See the reload, 751. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, I can get it better than that. Probably around 7.3 or around 7. Now, this is where I die because I, my gas tank is a hit, and I fear that I could have took the Tiger too long. I thought he, he had the stock. Uh, well not the stock, but the first 105, but he doesn't. He has the big one, and boom, lights me on fire. Uh, and then he rams me, and I accidentally take a shot from my Type 59, and then uh, I get killed by the Tiger on the hill. Now we have a Super Persian back there, and I'm not entirely sure what he did the entire game, but apparently it was very important for him to sit back here. I'm trying to be mean to that guy, I'm just saying, he could have moved up and uh, health, because he was full health. And he shoots the tiger, um, which I guess is good. He gets the focus off of the cap, not like the other guys were going to be able to make it back there anyways in 20 seconds. And the T-28 heavy tank concept, I'm not entirely sure what I think about that tank, because some people say it's overpowered, some people say it's good, and some people are like, well, the Scorpion's better than this tank. Yeah. I agree with that, I think the Scorpion is way better than this, but uh, this tank just seems like it's got a little bit something extra, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think they're afraid to fight it, because they think they're going to get some weird disease, just uh, looking at it, and they're like, what the fuck does that thing do? Anyways, uh, this game, our video is getting ready to end. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see anything else, let me know. T49 video will probably be here soon. Don't hold me to it. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you later.